My name's Alice Gorman. I'm a lecturer in archaeology at Flinders University in Adelaide. Uh, I'm a lecturer in the Department of Archaeology. I teach graduate students about cultural heritage management and I also teach undergraduate students about Australian archaeology. My research area is the archaeology of space exploration. So this means I look at the material culture of the whole period from the Second World War up until the present, the period in which humans first went into space. So this means everything from the launch sites and rockets that start on the surface of the Earth through to satellites and space junk which are in orbit around the Earth, the Moon, the Sun and almost every other um, celestial body in the solar system through to planetary landing sites on places like the Moon and Venus which is my particular favourite at the moment. Sometimes um, my advice is requested about identifying particular pieces of space junk that have re-entered. So I've played a role in doing that for a few that have come down in Australia. But most of the time I'm actually interested in the space junk that's still in orbit. I'm interested in which bits of space junk might have heritage value or archaeological research value that we might want to keep for future generations because probably a lot of it is going to be um, cleaned up at some point. So as an archaeologist I'm really interested in what's up there that has heritage value that we might want to keep. I think it's really important to help people who don't necessarily know a lot about science and what science does see what's exciting about it because what we do is actually really exciting and Every now and then you'll see some little snippet on the news about some new discovery, but there's not much context for people to understand things. So I think it's fantastic that we can, as we're doing tonight, come out into the community, bring interesting films to look at, interesting conversations to have, and give people a chance to interact on a more personal level with the science that's going on all around them. Tonight we're showing a film about lunar exploration, specifically the Apollo astronauts. So I'm going to touch on that, but also have a look at some of Australia's um, biggest achievements in space exploration. Not many people know that Australia was at the forefront of this whole field in the 60s and 70s. So I'm going to talk a bit about Woomera, which is one of the most um, historically significant launch sites in the world, and also a bit about Australia's satellites and about a few other really interesting places in the solar system.